Welcome to Get In The Mix. Here we have the latest speakers from Pioneer, the DM40 and 50Ds. Now you might have seen the DM40s, they've been around for some time, well these are the next evolution in those speakers. Let's just get them out of their boxes and see what's inside. Now these are the DM40 BTs, so they're Bluetooth compatible, but of course they come in their standard format as well. Um, we'll lift that, Bosh. we'll flip it, <laughs> and already, Sticking with that new minimal pioneer aesthetic. Not a lot going on the box, just the product White and box, the name. But I don't think you need much more than that. So here we have the DM50D BT in white. But of course they come in non-Bluetooth and in black. Let's get it out of that outer box because nobody likes an outer box. Powerful products with a simplistic aesthetic. And where's my trusty knife, you may ask? Well, you lost it. I lost it. We've got one figure of eight power cable, one set of speaker cables, pop those together. A standard 3.5 millimeter jack to RCA. One thing I noticed is that they are a slightly higher quality cable than the normal cheapy ones that you get in, a, in most products. And we've got that EU power supply for when you're going on tour in Belgium and you need to plug your speakers in. DM50. <laughs> you need them DM50 monitors. Ooh. Oh, we should have had these for Stormtrooper Day on May the 4th. Bosh, look at that. Oh, slide it in. Simple design, standard content, speaker cables and whatnot, but the first thing I'd like to point out and that I notice is a little bit different, on the back here, we've got TRS jack input as well as your standard RCA and your stereo mini input so you can connect that straight up to your speakers, your, your DJ controller, whatever it might be. But also that we've got a lovely little DSP on the back. We love a DSP here at Getting a Mix. So what's that going to do? That's going to allow you to put it into boost mode. It's going to put you to more of a, a DJ orientated sound. So you can run them flat, which may be a little bit more kind of uh, making music, DJing in an environment where you can't need to cram the bass. Maybe your mum's asleep upstairs. Maybe the neighbors are difficult. You then switch it over to DJ mode from producer mode and you've got that boosted bass. It's going to crank through. Your mum's going to kick off. Your neighbors are going to lodge complaints. Time to open the 40s in black. Specifically says on the box how to open it. Flip it upside down. That's how the pros do it. Oh, just so much easier. So much easier. Lovely little rubberized feet on the bottom there. That's going to help reduce some of those natural vibrations that you might get, that kind of resonant frequencies from your desk. Same again, speaker cable, 3.5 millimeter jack and your RCA. Again, higher quality RCA to 3.5 millimeter jack than we might normally expect. Same accessories, whether you go for the 40s or the 50s. First thing we notice is, of course, size difference, four and five. We've got a five inch driver, we've got the four inch driver, and of course, they're a little bit bigger. I mentioned earlier that the fives had the TRS jack inputs. It is worth noting that the fours do not have the TRS jack input, so you're gonna be relying more on your RCA and your stereo balanced input from a jack cable, but that's fine. You know, With a speaker this size, you're most likely using it with something like a DDJ 400 that comes with just your RCA outputs. Anyway, moving on from that, the next thing I notice is, of course, these speakers are front ported. Well, what does that mean? Well, the bass comes directly out of the front rather than, with a lot of speakers, the design is that this bass comes out of the back, which is fine and which is great if you've got room. But if you haven't got much room in your studio setup and you need these really close to the wall, then the bass coming out the back is gonna cause all sorts of issues. So the bass coming out the front means you can really make the most out of your minimal space. For those that, <laughs> have a less than ideal room in terms of how acoustic you know it is and how sound propagates in that room. I know I don't have an ideal room, it's, it's ropey to say the least, but when you have a front port, it does mean that that bass comes directly to you, which means finding that sweet spot is oh so much easier. And finally, the last benefit for a port like this is of course you're gonna have less reflections off the wall. Now when the sound is coming out the back, it bounces straight off the wall and to you, and that might not be an issue, especially when you've got enough space, but dealing with bass coming directly out the front, straight to you, you're still gonna have some bounce back, there's, you know, bass is omni omnidirectional at the end of the day, but you're gonna have a much more direct sound and you're gonna be able to find that sweet spot much, much easier. The final difference that I know, notice at a glance on these speakers compared to some of the others, and it is very minor, so bear with me, 
is this tiny little addition to the waveguide. Now the waveguide is this kind of curvy area outside the tweeter. You can you could almost imagine it like an outer tweeter. <laughs> you can, what the waveguide does is it helps guide the sound. And what they've designed this tiny little bit to do, and whether it does it is yet to be seen, but what this will do is increase the sweet spot of our speakers. So it's gonna be a much wider sound field, which is great if you're gonna be DJing in a room where actually there's a few other people listening and you want everyone to get a nice quality of sound. You don't want the sweet spot to just be your specific chair just there, propagating it a little bit further and a little bit wider, covering more angle. This isn't a, a visual thing, but when we look at the specifications, the very final difference, and this is that the amplifiers are now class D rather than AB. Now, we're getting a little bit into the, the, the nitty gritty technical side of it, but the long story short is that D-class amplifiers are more efficient, they're less prone to heating up, and of course they're gonna allow your product to have a slightly longer life. You know, you're not gonna be worrying about one day coming into your studio and you've got smoky little amp boards on the back of your speaker, because we've got those high quality class D amplifiers producing crystal clear sound efficiently. Now this isn't the most exciting announcement from Pioneer. It's not the latest controller, it's not a brand new player, but we do love new speakers here at Gear in the Mix. And realistically, the only way to assess these speakers yourself is to come down and hear them. So give us a call and book an appointment and come and hear these bad boys in person. Now, as always, like if you like, dislike if you dislike, chuck us a comment in the comment section and be sure to subscribe. And as always, get in the mix.